When Enrique Peña came to the United States five years ago from his native Peru, his goal was set early on. Go to a good school and get like get an education. Peña, who is a dreamer, would eventually land at the City University of New York, where he's now a triple major in political science, urban studies, along with Latin American studies. But the 23-year-old, like many CUNY students, now finding it hard to stay afloat with rising tuition costs. Peña is part of a student body where more than 60% of those enrolled make less than 30000 a year. And more than half have to maintain a full-time or part-time job to make ends meet. One uh, close friend had to stop going to college because of tuition hikes. And that is one thing that personally like hurts. We need to make CUNY free again. In an effort to alleviate the struggle, Shaker Christian, a candidate for New York City Council, is proposing a five-point plan, which includes making sure private universities pay their fair share in taxes, and the state reinvests in its community colleges. Those funds, Christian says, would allow CUNY to return to a free tuition model, which was the case from its inception in 1847 until 1976. This is really a way to, for CUNY and for the city to make sure that we are supporting them in the way that they drive this city forward. The movement to lower tuition at CUNY has gained momentum since the start of the pandemic, including legislation introduced in the state Senate in February aimed at reviving CUNY. With a number of students dropping out last year due to losing their main source of income and a growing appetite for progressive leaders to return results, students like Peña are optimistic. Progressive leaders in this uh, supposedly uh, progressive New York State uh, would support, right? In Jackson Heights, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.